Hey everyone, Quilton Marine here. Welcome to my kitchen again. So making dinner, making dinner for the fam today. Uh, another favorite they like is ramen. Okay, we don't do the the college dorm ramen now. Okay, we're taking this to a different level. So there's a company that we we go to the Asian store and we buy. Um, it's this Osong Hong ramen. All right, it's mild. I like mine with heat to it, so I'm going to show you what I do to add a little heat to mine. Instead of, and they come, they're pretty cheap. It's like um, three bucks for six packs or something like that, or 12 bucks for like a box. It's really good though. Great price. Uh, we love it. And winter is coming, so we store up on it. All right. So, what we do is uh, we pre cut a bunch of vegetables and stuff. And when I'm feeling really, 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 really generous, I'll throw meat in a bowl. So, these are the bowls that we have set up. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to cook our ramen. And then we're gonna pour it into the bowls with the veggies, all right? So in the veggies, I have bean sprouts, green onions, cabbage, uh, really thinly sliced um, celery, and then the bottom somewhere around here, there, there's some uh, onions cut up, okay? All right, so now, what we do is we, we, what I do, what I normally do is the amount of juice, cause like, you know, not everybody likes the same amount of juice in a ramen. So what I do is, I'll fill up the bowl that I'm gonna eat out of to the level of, of water that I want, and then I'll pour that in a pot and bring it to a boil, okay? My son, he doesn't like much much uh, ramen juice, so he has the least amount, so of course, his would come to a boil first. Now what I do is, they have a pack. When you open it up, in the pack you'll have, um, you know, dried veggies, the seasoned pack itself, and the noodles, okay? He doesn't like the this veggie pack, so I'll double that up with my wife's or, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the season pack in first, since we got the boil going on his. Now, sometimes I also cheat and, you know, just because ours aren't boiling, I'll throw ours in, just to stay ahead of the game, okay? We try to, I'm trying to, you know, get us all served up at the, at the same time, okay? That's two. I need to open this one up, and then we'll have three going. All right, but while that's boiling, because you know how water, when it, when it gets going, it's hard to stop. So I'm gonna get his noodles in there now. While I work on throwing in my pack. Of course, I'm the dad. I get the big piece of chicken, <laughs> right? All right, big bowl, that's me. Medium bowl. Wife, medium bowl, son, okay? Now, hers is coming to a boil, so I'm gonna just throw her noodles in there, all right? Me, I'm not scared. I'm gonna throw mine in too, just get it going, okay? Throw these up here. Get them out of the way. Okay, so here, Thai chili. Garlic paste. This is what I use to throw heat in, okay? Do not go overboard or you are going to be smoking, okay? That stuff's hot, all right? So don't go overboard. Unless you like overboard, then by all means, all right? Let me know how you feel later on when you take it, okay? When you, when you put it in there. All right, let's get that going up. All right, so we just want to get that noodles worked up nice. All right, get them... Get them going, all right? Like a spaghetti noodle, but they're cooked, you know, the noodle's cooking in its own juices. Just like a regular ramen pack, okay? But we call we call our ramen super ramen because of all the stuff that we throw in, all right? And I, I usually like to throw some, some uh, shrimp in there, but we're, we're trying to save our shrimp for my, my mother-in-law's birthday coming up. Yeah, we're doing something big. And I'll record what I'm making on that, but I'll be making a couple of dishes. Some shrimp fried rice, some dynamite, and some bang bang shrimp. So I'm gonna be in stingy with the shrimp today, okay? All right, so the, the, free, the, dried, the dried veggies have went in, okay? I'm just working that around. Letting those noodles get cooked up. So my wife loves sesame oil, okay? 
Testament oil is pretty cool. I, it's all right, but I read a couple places where guys, you don't want to be overdoing sesame oil. Okay, sesame oil is going to give you breast assistances. All right, so leave it alone. It's all right every now and then, but um, you don't want to be shopping for bras because you were eating sesame oil. Okay. All right, mine's taking forever. Let's get that going up. Okay, here we go. All right, so, all right, that's it. I mean, you just, it's, it's simple. It really is. All right, so here, I'm going to throw in my, thai, my my garlic paste, okay? Look, if I did this right here, you would not see me for, like, months, okay? This is all I need right here. Not even a half a teaspoon, really. This stuff is that potent. That's all I need. I'm going to put that in. Stir it around. Let it get out the spoon. Let it get some talent, okay? That's it. You don't need to go buy your own packs of the, the hot version, okay? Make your own, okay? You have your own your own resources in which you can do that. All right, so my wife's is coming to an end. So I'm going to put in, you know, the good old-fashioned sesame oil, okay? I'm going to throw a couple of dabs in. Maybe a tablespoon. Give it a stir. All right, so my son's is ready to go. That's been in for a minute. So I'm gonna turn that heat off. Pretty simple. I'm just gonna pour his in. Just like that. All right. Now my wife's. Heat off, bring hers over. There we go. And the cooking room. It looks about ready, right? Let's see. Yeah, that looks about ready. Turn that off. Pretty simple, easy dinner. Filling, good for you, other than the sodium content, okay? Don't be fooled. Pour that one in. All right, all right, so I like, you know, when I was in Japan, they had this soju, soju ramen, soju ramen, and they always topped it with a piece of butter, okay? And I like, I, I used to love that ramen. I go to this little rinky dink ramen shop underneath a train station to eat this ramen in particular. All right. That's it. Dinner in our house. We're ready. We're about to eat. I hope you are. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fire and it's only food.